friends, it's FPS Russia again and I've got a nice video for you today and I have a few volunteers for this one. I've got Jerry and I've got Mike and uh, they're going to help us show off some specialty 12 gauge shotgun rounds. I've got my Remington 887 here, got a nice paint job on that and uh, so we've got some flechette rounds which are tiny darts, we've got uh, dragon's breath rounds which are actually shoot fire at the target and we've even got some uh, bolo rounds, so it's uh, two large balls with a steel cable in between. And I think these guys are going to have a very, very bad day. So let's get started. Okay, so the first round we're going to use is the flechette round. It's about uh, 12 or 15 tiny steel darts in each shell. And uh, I think our friend's going to have a bad day. Okay, you can see the darts stuck in them here. Yeah, there's one of the darts. And uh, they went through it here, 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 everywhere. Even got the dart stuck in his cheek there. So, uh, let's try something else. Okay, so this time it is a buck and ball. They call this pit bull. So it's a one out slug with six double out buckshot behind it. And uh, I think it's going to work out pretty nice. So you can see it does absolutely massive damage. You've got the, uh, the one ounce slugs hitting it here, here and here. And then you've got all of the buckshot hitting it there and there and there, putting the, uh, the smaller holes in. Okay, let's step it up a notch, go to something else. Okay, so this time we've got a bolo round. It is uh, two very large uh, buckshot with a steel cable in between. And uh, hopefully it will be spinning through the air as we shoot. Okay, so you can see right here where one of the bolo rounds hit, the two shot penetrated and the wire broke away. I think maybe it's because this is hard fiberglass, but with a person, you could just drag in and the wire would make a big channel wound. But uh, let's try something else. Okay, so this one is called Rhodesian Jungle. You've got uh, bird shot with bug shot behind it. If you're in a, like a vegetative area, like a jungle or something, you've got the, uh, the bird shot going through vines and around them, and then you've got the bug shot coming behind it. And uh, I think it's going to make a lot of little holes and then a few big ones. Okay, so you can definitely see the difference with the Rhodesian jungle. You've got tiny holes everywhere on his arms, on his face, all over his body and uh, I think down there too. And then you've got the buckshot here and here and pretty much everywhere at this point. So uh, it's a much bigger pattern and uh, it would definitely work out pretty nicely. That's got to hurt. But uh, let's try something I cooked up myself. Okay, so this is something I cooked up myself. I've got an arrow inside the shotgun and uh, I don't know how this is going to work but it's going to go very bad for him. Okay, so it went through his eye, Osama Bin Laden style, and come around here. The back of the arrow broke off and stayed inside of his head and the rest of it kept going. So uh, I'd say that's pretty damn effective. Okay, one more thing. Let's go to that one. Okay, so this is the Dragon's Breath round and we're going to shoot our other friend over here. We then dressed him up like a civilian, that way we know uh, how flammable he is. And uh, as always, don't try this at home unless you are a professional.
as you can see those are very effective I hope you enjoy the video my friends and as always have a nice day